Okay, this video deals with 8-5 practice and 8-5 skills practice, angles of elevation and depression. Um, let's look at number three. I'm just going to randomly do some problems here. So if we look at number three, a student can see a water tower from the closest point of the soccer field. The edge of the soccer field is 110 feet from the tower. The tower is 32 and a half feet high and his eye level is six feet up off the ground. So let's draw a diagram to represent this. So um, you've got the water tower. The soccer field is 110 feet away. The tower is 32 and a half feet tall. The observer's eye level starts out six feet off the ground. And if we look at the triangle that's involved here, it wants us to find what is the angle of elevation. So call this A. And this side of the triangle now, since the total tower is 32 and a half feet tall and he's six feet up off the ground as he's doing this as we're talking about this angle of elevation we need to subtract six from 32 and a half and we get 26 and a half so this side here is 26 and a half so the triangle that we have to solve is 26.5 on one side 110 on the other and we need to find that angle. So notice I had to draw a couple of diagrams to you know, maybe make the information a little bit more clear. What we have here is a tangent ratio. This is the hypotenuse. So we've got an opposite over an adjacent. And we're calculating the angle. So it's a tangent ratio. But we're going to do inverse tangent, tan minus 1. A is equal to tan minus 1 of... 26.5 divided by 110. So that's what we need to figure out. So 26.5 divided by 110 comes out to be 0 0.2409. And we need to find the angle that goes with that is a tangent ratio. So shift tangent, tan minus 1, gives me 13 and a half degrees. 13.54 wants us to round this to the nearest tenth, so the measure of angle A is 13.5 degrees. Let's look at, say, number five. Let me bring number five up. Okay, so uh, flight poles can't be more than 25 feet in this town. Uh, Lindsay wants to determine how high her flagpole is. Her eye level is five and a half feet off, off the ground, and she's 36 feet away from the pole, and she has a 25 degree angle of elevation, and how tall is the flagpole. So we can see from this problem that since she's starting up at 25, or she's starting up at five and a half feet up off the ground, that uh, we're going to have to add that to the end calculation. So let's draw the triangle. Well, they, they gave us a triangle to represent this. She's up five and a half feet. So what we want to do is, what we need to do is calculate that piece of the triangle using a tangent ratio. Y is opposite and five and a half is adjacent. And we've got the 25 degree angle. So we're going to set up a tangent of 25 is equal to y over 5 is equal to y over 36 or 36 times tangent of 25 is equal to y. I'm going to use the calculator to solve that one. We get uh, 36 times 25 tangent equals comes out to be 16.8 And 
percent. So this Y part here is 16.8, but the eye level is five and a half feet up off the ground, so we have to add 5.5 onto that to figure out how tall the flagpole is, and we get 22.3. So the flagpole is 22.3 feet tall. Okay, let's look at, uh, say, number six, this geography problem. Move this up. So, um, Stefan's standing on the ground by a mesa in Arizona. He's one and a half meters tall, so at the end we got to remember that we need to add one and a half meters because they're asking us how tall the mesa is, and he's taking his sightings almost like two meters up. Uh, let's see. So, first off, he sights the top of the mesa at 29 degrees angle of elevation and we don't know how far he is away from the mesa or how tall the mesa is but we can represent this in terms of a tangent because x is opposite and y is adjacent so we can write tan 29 is equal to x over y and we can get this in to uh, x equals form by multiplying both sides by y. y times the tangent of 29 is equal to x. So that's what we can get from the first triangle as a relationship. Now he steps back 100 meters and takes another sighting and now it's a 25 degree angle. The mesa is still the same height but now um, the adjacent side is using this larger triangle is 100 plus y and x is the height of the mesa. So opposite side is x. 100 plus y now is the adjacent side that goes with this larger triangle. So still a tangent ratio. This one is tan 25 is equal to x over 100 plus y. Now we can get that into x form, x equals form by multiplying both sides by the denominator 100 plus y. So 100 times this plus y times this gives me 100 tangent 25 plus y tangent 25 is equal to x. So this is the relationship that we can get from the second triangle. Now since both of these are equal to x, I can set them equal to each other and solve for y. So that's what we're going to do next. So let me change colors here. Uh, we're going to do, um, let's go up here. Might not be room on the side there. So. Let's see, they're both equal to each other because they're both, the x is the same. So I can say y tan 29 is equal to 100 tan 25 plus y tan 25. Now, get the y's together on the left, subtract this y tan 25 from both sides, and we have y tan 29 minus y tan 25 equals 100 tan 25. So what we did there was subtract the y tan 25 from both sides. y is common to both of these, so I can use the distributive property and get a y out. So y times the tangent of 29 minus tangent 25 is equal to that side over there, which is 100 tan 25. So rather than rewriting it, I'm just going to put the quotation marks there. Uh, to get y by itself now, I can actually, well, I, what we could do is to keep from having to write tan 29 minus tan 25, we can actually turn that into a number. Uh, tan 29 is that 
minus tan 25, which is that, comes out to be 0 0.088. So y times 0 0.088 is equal to 100 tan 25. Okay, if we divide both sides by 0 0.088, we can figure out what y is. So y is going to be 100 tan 25 divided by 0 0.088. Let's do that. 100 times tangent 25 is 46.63. We're going to divide that by 0 0.088. And we get 529. Let's round it off to the nearest tenth, 529.9. Y is 529.9, and this is all in terms of meters. Okay, now, we've, we know that Y is 529.9. If we go back to one of our original equations, we can substitute Y, like I, I would think, substitute Y in here. So 529.9 times tangent 29 is going to give us our X. So that's probably the easiest way to do this. Uh, 529.9, this is like triangle 1, times tan 29 is equal to x, and multiply times 29, the tangent of that, comes out to be 293.7. That's in meters. So we get that x is 293.7, which is this distance here. But we have to remember that he is 1.8 meters tall. So he is sighting, taking these elevation angles at 1.8 meters off the ground. So the mesa actually is 1.8 meters taller so we have to add 1.8 meters onto that and that gives us a 5 carry the 1 we get a another 5 so we get 295.5 meters is equal to the height of the mesa and rereading the problem it doesn't tell us anything about any kind of rounding so we could actually call this 296 meters, which is, you know, a little bit more than uh, three feet a meter. This is like right around a thousand feet if you wanted to kind of visualize. Okay, so that gives us the height of the mesa. Okay, so this is the first side of the practice. Uh, let's look quickly at the other skills practice side here of the sheet and see if uh, we don't really have a lot of time. Let's see. Um, a lot of these you might notice um, this starts out her eye level is five meters above the ground so you're gonna have to add five on at the end if you're doing the height. Here's angle of elevation of the Sun. This is problems like we've done before. How far are they away from the building? This is an opposite over adjacent. Uh, it's using a 60, so it could be a special triangle involved in it as a shortcut, or you just do tangent of 60. Uh, here we have another situation with two different sightings in the triangle, so same method might work for that one is on the other side. And uh, more angles of elevation and depression. So we won't do these necessarily right now. Um, bring these up in class if you want to see them worked. And um, we'll see what goes with this.